Focus on the Family, the global Christian ministry based here in Colorado Springs, says it has, quote, deep concerns over what they call government overreach related to the COVID-19 vaccines and testing. KRDO News Channel 13 Cindy Centafanti spoke with the CEO of the ministry, Jim Daly, today, who confirmed those misgivings, though they may soon be forced to comply. She's live in Briargate tracking these new developments. Cindy. Heather Bart, we first became aware of this through an anonymous employee email. Now, in that email, Focus on the Family said that it had been holding off for as long as possible when it came to mandating employee vaccines. Now, also in that email, they said that they won't be able to hold off for much longer. The email sent out by Focus on the Family CEO and President Jim Daly to all employees Monday outlines his hesitation when it comes to enforcing a federal vaccine mandate for employers with more than 100 workers. The new rule administered by OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, goes before the Supreme Court on Friday. But companies could face a compliance deadline by next week if the mandate isn't put on hold. ARDO obtained a copy of the email from an employee. It directly addresses workers who are upset that the organization may soon have to comply with the OSHA order. It reads in part, quote, many employees have begun organizing against Focus's desire to comply with the mandates and donors are already threatening to pull funding, end quote. Daly goes on to explain that focus on the family has been, quote, holding off on enforcing the OSHA mandate, waiting to see how the Supreme Court will weigh in. The email also explains that should focus on the family refuse to comply, the ministry could be hit with millions in fines. We reached out to the organization to ask why they've been so hesitant up to this point. Daly responded, saying in a statement, quote, Focus on the family has deep concerns regarding the overreach of government relative to the COVID-19 vaccine testing mandate. He goes on to say he does not believe his employees, or anyone else for that matter, should be forced to violate their deeply held convictions on this matter. Adding, quote, it is our hope and prayer that the Supreme Court will soon strike down this mandate as unconstitutional, end quote. OSHA has said it could begin fining businesses that fail to comply with the mandate as soon as January 10th. Now, it's important to note that COVID hasn't necessarily been a huge problem for Focus on the Family. According to state data, back in 2020, they had an outbreak that affected about four employees. And as far as the Supreme Court, well, they'll be reviewing the OSHA mandate this week, the legality of that decision to come down in the next three weeks. For now, I'm Cindy Santafonsi reporting for KRDO News Channel 13.